In our 70s flashback, Iowa State's Kelly Ward got that NCAA feeling in 1979 when he won the 158-pound title. When he faced Iowa's Mark Stevenson in 1978, the foundation was being laid. There is Kelly Ward, undefeated in 1977-78, and there is Mark Stevenson of Britt, Iowa, one of the finest young wrestlers to come out of a, of a small Iowa high school in a long time. Yes, very much so. Mark's a real fine competitor. He's been injured off and on here the last year or so. A single leg, high cross by Rick Kelly Ward, and he whipped in there for what may turn out to be a takedown, although it isn't now. It is. With a minute 35 left, it took him 25 seconds to get that one. Ward would like to make this the big one. That was a real good maneuver on the part of Ward, it was quick. Kelly Ward. It. Kelly's father, as we've said before, was uh, one time a, on the coaching staff of football at Iowa State. Crowd blues as Stevenson goes out. Yeah, the fans kind of thought maybe he was running for the edge. He really wasn't running for the edge in that case. Uh, he was trying to get out there to get an elongated position and maybe put something together. That's a, that's a common thing. Maybe in the last part of the last period, you might garner that as being a stall maneuver or something, but that wasn't his intent there. Ward riding from the stand-up position against Mark Stevenson, who rolls, but Kelly recovers. Has a good forward roll attempt on a stand-up, but uh, Ward is very uh, quick and, of course, counted around behind real well. There you see the score, Iowa 9, Iowa State 7, a minute 14 left, 158-pound match, and there are some of the 14,300 who came to Hilton tonight. Hope you're enjoying it around Ward appears state of Iowa. Much, Ward appears to be much stronger than Stevenson, and yet uh, physically when you look at him, it doesn't appear that way. I think Stevenson may have a little leverage on him due to his height, but otherwise Ward's uh, got pretty much uh, what you and I call command uh, of this match. He's got control down on that match without net, without any problem at all. Two to nothing, Ward leaves. You might mention that we have other meets coming up. This is the first of a series with Iowa State. And the next one is going to be on Monday night at 10.30 p.m. Iowa against number four, Wisconsin, right here from Hilton. Stevenson manages, manages to stand up, but uh, Ward counters staying in behind. And you're watching it live tonight. It's kind of hard to look ahead. He warned uh, Ward in that case, but it looked to me like maybe stalling because he was maybe aiding uh, Stevenson to get off the mat so he wouldn't lose the one-point escape. It's a judgment thing, but it looked as though that's what the, the call was for. Spike Israel's leaving no doubt about who's in charge of this meet. Well, he's making them wrestle. There's not, there's not Stevenson there. turns in, and he has two. And Kelly Ward now has gone from two down to a draw. Two-two. Well, that was kind of a sit-out, uh, spin-back type combination, a combination off of the, the sit-out for the two-pointer on the part of Stevenson. He's no slouch as a wrestler. He was an excellent high school wrestler. He's not going to. He's not going to quit here. He's going to stay right in there. 23 seconds left in the first period, two-minute period. And this is one Iowa State. Here comes State. our reversal right here. This is where Stevenson, you see now, comes back off of a kind of a, look like a step-over combination into a uh, uh, two-point reversal, but it was really no definite uh, move. It was a combination of two or three. Well, Kelly got there as an escape, and Ward leads three to two. Ward got caught in a, a difficult position. He couldn't unravel quick enough to, rec to respond. The clock is telling you how much time is left in the first period. Once these wrestlers get to their feet, you notice there with Ward, why he got to his feet, then it was upper body strength where he was able to split those arms of hands of Stevenson for his escape. End of the first period. Now we go to your choice, your choice. number two. It's Iowa State's choice. State takes top. Here comes our escape right now on the back Ward. Look at there. He comes up underneath that arm and spins out right here. There it is for the one point. New neutral position. Back to live action, and there's Harold Nichols. Now you can see he's excited. Watch that thumb move. Ward, from the whistle, takes his man up in the air, and Stevenson spins, comes out with the leg. Now that's twice that that move has not worked very well for Kelly, and he's got a fight to keep from losing two here. Yes, no points yet. There hadn't been any points scored yet. Ward the, still has control in the eyes of the official, and I think I would have to agree with him at yes, this point. But he's although gonna, he's up very high. He's change pretty quick. Out of bounds. No change of control. Ward still has control. He'll be on top when they come back to the middle. 
Yeah, I think Spike Israel has discovered what I've thought for a long time, that refereeing a wrestling match can be a very colorful thing if you want it to be. I'm not sure everybody likes it that way. Well, he's done one thing tonight here, whether one would agree with it or not, and I would agree with it personally, and I think most people would, that he's he's been right on top of that stalling yes. and cautioning, and consequently we've had a lot of offensive wrestling. Now, Kelly Award has been going up very high. My impression is he's been a little chancy in some of those moves. Uh, I think he probably feels in his own mind that uh, John, you're he's confident enough to, to do that. He rides pretty high, and of course that's true of a lot of wrestlers today. They ride up around those shoulders, that upper body, because they're able to put together some pinning combinations, and that's what the name of the game is, so to speak, is try to get that man on his back. Or go, went down on the ankle right away, and then came up when he thought he had the situation in hand. Stevenson's had luck with rolls, and he came into another one again. Ward reacts. But uh, Stevenson has been has been giving Kelly a lot of trouble with that roll. That's kind of a forward, kind of a half forward side roll. It really isn't a full combination forward roll, as most of us would call it. But he's pretty effective with it. Yes. Ward's been just fortunate enough to counter two couple times here, but he may not be so fortunate the next time. It isn't coming at him quite the way he's used to seeing rolls, and he's no, he's not quite with it. 208 in the second period, three to two, Ward leaving. Stevenson's trying to crowd him a little bit back there with his hips. Consequently, it kind of keeps him loose back there and affords him an opportunity underneath to put some moves together. Now you see him getting ready, wanting to roll again. But Ward is controlling him a little better than he has just recently. You notice there's a roll, and he's out, coming out again. That's really a tough move he's got. But now Ward is back on top, and he calls it an escape, and then two for Ward. I think Spike was a little quick for that one. He well, <laughs> that was kind of a tough call. There was a two or three series moves there, but he did give the one and the two. Comes out right anyway. Five for Ward now, three for Stevenson. And Ward has moved up into a chicken wing on the near arm, as you can see. Out of bounds. Here comes our move right here. Stevenson is real tough on that roll. Look here, looks like he's going to his back, but he pivots back to the inside. Yep. He's coming in, he's gonna face him. It looks like he's gained the neutral position. There's your one point that he gave, and there comes Ward back for the two point quickly. You know. Short change of uh, positions there. You know, it looks as if, uh, I think Ward looks like he stays with it longer than you'd think because it looks like he's going to put the man on his back. Well, he, you know, he's a tight rider at times, but at other times he appears to be loose, and he's loose enough back there that he does a good job of countering. Now, we're getting a warning against the bottom man, against Stevenson of Iowa in the 158-pound class. Uh, Ward has that chicken wing. It looks like the referee's looking to see if he's going too high. And it appears yeah. as though he did. He called it potentially dangerous. That can very easily go into an illegal maneuver, and it's well that he did stop it. 58 seconds left in the second period. The rule on that, Doug, for the fans that don't know, on that chicken wing, that bar arm series, he's got to go somewhat perpendicular to the long axis or long part of the body. He can't go parallel. It means he immediately that he goes parallel. Why then it's illegal or potentially dangerous. It depends upon the, the gray lines that the official calls it in. But... That can be dangerous. We're in the last 50 seconds here. Ward takes the near arm, likes it. It's sort of a head lever position where he can yeah, control he, that near arm. He's controlling that near arm real well, and he's got a deep waist right on him there too. But it wouldn't surprise me he'll come back into that chicken wing maneuver pretty quick. But this is where this is where Stevenson has been rolling out, right, right in right in this spot, and uh, it's tough to know where it's coming from. The Ward, the Ward right now is handling him pretty well down there, though he's not giving him any base to work off of. Once he regains his knees, then he'll have that opportunity to put that roll if that's what he desires together again. But he now can't 17 get seconds left, and Ward is being warned for stalling. Now, the reason why he's warning him, and I can't read his mind, but from where we sit here, Doug, it would appear is because all that uh, Ward's doing is writing. He's not working for the fall. He's mainly he's doing what you and I would call control wrestling, and that's stalling. Yeah. or counter-wrestling, waiting for the other right. fellow to make the move that's uh, going to kill him. And that has to be a point, because a warning was given previously. It's 5-4, to four, and Stevenson is very much in this. 13 seconds left in the second period. Hearts beat fast at Hilton Coliseum, because this is one that Iowa State knows it has to win. This the end of the second period. Kelly Ward, five. Mark Stevenson, four. Iowa nine. There's Harold Nichols going back to his seat. Iowa State, seven. That's, that's correct. Uh, Ward here at the last part of that last period is getting a little bit high on him. I think he was doing that 
to avoid any call of stalling back behind because uh, he's going to have to put some offensive moves together when he's on top. Right now he comes into the set-out position. Stevenson counters. It's just bearing down on the uh, top part of the body there with a lot of pressure, but uh, Ward regains his base. Tries to go into a side roll. Here it comes, but he's off the mat. Yes, and with 2.44 left, that took 16 seconds, that little flurry from the whistle. And as soon as there's a whistle, you see the coaches jump up and run out to the edge of the mat. There's Dale Barr. I would expect that with Ward, we'll see a stand-up attempted uh, stand-up escape here to get to his feet. He has a much better chance there, but he couldn't quite make it that time. Stevenson's right. keeping him down. Well, there's a lot of pressure being bore down on the upper part of uh, Ward's body, but here he comes back with a duck under duck out and he's a roll, nice roll, and he's out. That took uh, just a few seconds. 2:32 left now in the match. Here we come. Just nothing more but duck out the back door. Yep. That's a real good move. Kind of like a duck under from a neutral position is what it amounted to, Doug. It's a duck back. He got out to the outside far enough to get that head under. 42-point reversal. Ward has four minutes and two seconds of riding time with a 7-4 to four lead. And Stevenson has 48 seconds. We're in the third period. I would expect that we'll see Ward riding a little higher now. It's working for some fall points. Yes, and Stevenson... Uh, He's doing a little different things in the bottom. Now he tried a, 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 a step over and a nice one. Step over. A beautiful. Excellent beautiful. step over. You notice he's real long. He's longer. He, he's tall. You know, he's got that leverage. He's, those legs are a little bit longer. And he made that step over work pretty well. And it's something he hasn't done before. That was a completely different maneuver. It's seven to six. And two minutes left in the match. I've seen that work the other way. I've seen that step over like that go. A roll. And, and out comes Ward. But I think they were out of bounds with no points. I was saying there previously on the step over, on that step over previously, that you could very easily get caught if you're careless with that and don't step over. Here we come right here. You notice here stepping over, see? He caught him off his base, but if he had been on his base, Stevenson could get caught on his back likewise, but he caught Kelly Ward off his base, therefore the two-point reversal. Yes, and uh, before that he was standing up underneath. Now Ward is out for another point. It's eight to six. Ward. The Iowa State boy in red leads eight to six with riding time. One minute and 40 seconds left. A lot of wrestling left, Doug. Oh, yes. This one has been stopped a lot, so it seems to be taking a long, long time. Ward's built up four minutes and 16 seconds riding time against 119 for Stevenson, but we got an eight to six match score, so there's a lot to happen here yet, perhaps. And uh, each man has to keep at it because there have been some warnings given, especially Ward here. Ward is in a serious position for getting a little bit cautious. That's right. He's got to put some offense together. Uh, he missed a shot and almost got caught back and out. Back to the center. This Stevenson's going to have to carry the fight, and, and uh, Ward's going to have to realize that he's going to have to maintain some offense out there, too, or yeah. it's going to be a point penalty here again pretty quick. Yes, when Kelly has uh, been a little bit lax, maybe, not being as aggressive as he wants to be, that's where he's lost his points, and I think... He is one nope, boy. Stalling against the Iowa, Iowa boy, yeah. Stevenson. That was for backing out of there. He definitely, the referee definitely called that correctly, and he indicated it. It's Nine for backing six. out. Watch your face. Nine to six. He makes him wrestle in the middle, and that's what it's all about. Keep him out in the middle of that match and keep as much offense going as possible. Ward is uh, probably fairly content to stay where he is, but the referee isn't going to let him do it. He says that's a stalemate, man. 36 seconds left. Nine to six. Ward's not going to do anything careless at this point. He's got a 9-6 lead with riding time, make it 10-6. Uh, he needs Stevenson. to make one good shot. Though. Yeah, that's right, definitely. And Stevenson's got to have some points. He's got to be moving. Out of bounds. Spike Israel, referee, watching him very closely. Ward's doing a pretty good job of warding him off there so that he can't put any offensive uh, maneuvers together. Spin around by Ward. Nice reaction, however, by Stevenson. It was just a snap-down counter on the part of Ward. It was almost... Uh, Work a bulb in that quiet. Now Ward is being very busy, but uh, he doesn't really mean anything by it. Not at that point, not with about five, six seconds left. And the winner at 158 pounds, Kelly Ward. The score 10 for Ward with riding time, six for Mark Stevenson.
And the team score with a three-point decision for Iowa State. The Cyclones, 10. And Iowa, 9.